Okay. Done? Yeah. So, um, hello everybody. Uh, I am Jung Tan Din, and um, this is uh, Igor Antropov. So, uh, we are contributor at GGCAM. Uh, I've started uh, for years, and uh, uh, Antropov, as an Igor, just uh, this year from Google Summer of Code. And um, so we are, uh, this is our first uh, academy and we are quite new. And today we are going to present the phase uh, recognition and management in DigiCam. And um, the presentation is uh, normally under my name, but uh, since we all both worked on this uh, project for the Google Summer of Code, I worked on the back end and Igor on the front end, so it's much more complete that we present together this uh, module. Uh, okay, so let's begin. Uh, okay, so uh, just a quick summary for our presentation. Uh, we will firstly introduce uh, the module and uh, the module, the phase uh, management organization module in DigiCAM. Next, uh, the work that I've done for this uh, present uh, for this uh, module on the improvement on face recognition, and then the the improvement of Igor uh, that he w did on the face management workflow on the UI, and finally a, a a small conclusion for our work and the future of the module. So. Uh, as I said, uh, we worked for the Google Summer of Code. Just uh, if anybody here uh, hasn't known about this, it's a program for students working on um, uh, a project uh, for open source organization. And this is a chance for open source to promote themselves to students and, uh, and, uh, uh, and to have a more contributor. And um, for our work, it's on a mojo in DigiCam uh, for, facial recon for facial management. Uh, simply that we can tag a person uh, by detecting their face in photos and with the name on that tag. And that helps to uh, organize faces and pictures and we can later sort with the name of people or uh, display picture that have that name on uh, that picture. So I'll, for my work, uh, in detail, I improve the speed and the, the accuracy of the module. And Igor, he, will, uh, he worked on a, mo uh, a user interface which is more natural and more informative. So why, uh, why do we need a face recognition in Digicam? Actually, in our, uh, uh, when we use Digicam, we have our albums with a lot of pictures that have faces and uh, we need to tag those faces like what we did in Facebook. Uh, just don't know that who is uh, who are the persons in that picture. And um, if we if we have hundreds of faces, it's it will be difficult for us to do all that uh, manually. So the module is uh, intended to replace that part and automatically. Uh, aside the tag based on the known faces that we have already done. And uh, so why uh, do I choose deep learning for that? Actually, in DigiCam, the module is already implemented using uh, an, an uh, old algorithm. Uh, as you can see here, we have a, a in DigiCam, actually, the module is implemented, used uh, Eigen phase and Fisher phase, and there's another algorithm, uh, LPPH, linear, uh, linear binary something. I, there's no, it's not here, but actually they are old algorithm, and uh, they are not accurate. So the module actually was deactivated. So the idea is that I used deep learning, which is more robust and has uh, following this graph has more accuracy in order to improve this model. And um, uh, yeah, so I got this picture from a paper, so you can be sure about this uh, 
the 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 certainty of that graph. So okay, so uh, why how can deep learning have to improve the accuracy of the module? I will just uh, talk a little bit about how does it work and. I sh I'm sure that m any, many body here knows much better about than me, but yeah, just uh, will mention it again. So here you have a, uh, an architecture of neural network. It has many layer, and uh, just seen that a neural a neural network may function like our brain, and each layer. Uh, represent each step when we do some task, like we do each with step one, step two, step three. And in order to have a functional model net neural network, we need to train it and then uh, and tra train it. When we train it, we have to do the forward operation or the inference to predict. And then uh, based on the, the no label of that data, we can compute uh, an error or how close our prediction to the real uh, results. And then we do a backward operation where we backward operation where we change the model in the way that it will perform uh, much better and closer to the results. Okay, so after training with many data, and uh, after many iteration, we will have a model that is functional and we can use it to predict uh, a phase. Predict, uh, yeah. So how, why, why, why the deep learning is so good in phase recognition? Because we have uh, uh, so many, uh, an architecture with so many layer. And uh, for each layer, we can like, uh, recognize some parts of the phase. For example, for the first, for first layer, we can recognize edge curves, something like that, non-phase with faces region. And then from the next, uh, we can recognize the eye, nose, and some other feature on the face. And finally, a picture that is more complete about the face. So, so for my work, um, this is a pipeline of face recognition in GCAM. And uh, yeah, I took it from Medium because it's a very good uh, and informative GIF for the pipeline. Uh, we begin with an input image, and then we do the detection, where we detect uh, where is the face, and then we extract the line mark, and uh, we crop the image to prepare it for the neural network. There we compute a representation of faces, and from that result, we can uh, do clustering. We can compute the similarity with known faces, and to 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 predict uh, to recognize that face. <coughs> and um, the is a part of Qt and C plus plus and KDE. The most important, the the, mo the core component of my work is OpenCV uh, DNN model. And it has to do a fast uh, inference or uh, forward operation on the whole neural network. It's very fast and uh, modularized. It has to separate the the neural network and uh, core, the core the the functional code so that we can upgrade the neural network uh, apart from the functional uh, the code. And uh, so continue with the pipeline. Here is the results of my uh, when running the face detection. It's, it's very robust, as you can see, with uh, orientation like this. Even uh, dogs are recognized because uh, it is face two. Uh, even artwork like this, and anything that rest that are similar to faces can be detected, right? And uh, finally, if you have a picture with so many faces and they are small. Small, very small faces, you can detect it too. Uh, next, for the landmark extraction, uh, actually this depends on the neural network. And um, here we extract a landmark. This is the point uh, of the important, important region on the, on the face. And uh, for example, for the neural network that I used, 
it it require it is required that the outer face at uh, the outer eyes and the top nose are at the special position so actually this part uh, depends on the neural network and can be and be implemented I, I implemented uh, modularized so that we can use it uh, for different architecture of neural network and for the final part uh, we have a new I image we compute the representation and we can compute the similarity with the group of no faces and then we can assign the tag uh, based on the similarity with that group of faces. So for a small uh, demonstration, it will like this. I have a two picture of a uh, private and it can find all the pictures that are similar to that uh, faces, to those faces. So for the next part, uh, I will let the I will let uh, it to Igor. He present the the I the UI of uh, the module. Sure. Okay. Uh, good day, everyone. And uh, so, um, my part of the work was kind of boring because you know uh, <laughs> it's UI and UX and. Um, mm. You're just asking yourself why di why didn't Digicam have it already? And um, don't know. <laughs> uh, one word: if you are using Digicam and have some issues or some suggestions, please contact me. Uh, I will work for face management workflow for a long time, I think. So. Um, we had a lot of feedback from users uh, about issues, about um, features they want to see in next uh, Digicam releases. And uh, this feedback uh, can be divided in two parts. Um, one of them is uh, um, some strange uh, misunderstanding uh, uh, of uh, difference between face tagging and normal tagging. Because face tagging is uh, mm, not a normal tag. It's more like, I don't know how to say, but uh, you can't use face tag instead of normal tag. Face tag has to be uh, with the area. It's for uh, detection and recognition for uh, inter internal uh, usages and so on. Um, and there is some problems. Uh, why Digicam has these problems? Um, Face tags was added after the Digicam uh, had already uh, made, a f f made a tag engine. So uh, users said that it's hard to tell the difference between a face tags and normal tags when you are looking at a tag panel. Uh, it's um, they are using it like normal tags, and uh, the big problem with the same names. Uh, the other part is about uh, some random improvements to do. So um, one of the solutions was to start separation of the tags and uh, normal tags entirely. Uh, so what did we make? Uh, we removed face tags from normal tags list and from context menus. This. Uh, uh, this removes the way to, for users to uh, use face tag as normal tags and to see it from this list, of course. Uh, the next one, uh, we removed some really st strange functionality to convert face tags into normal tags and vice versa. I don't know why this was there, but not anymore. Um, remove possibility to create face tags outside of people. This is a very tricky question because Face tags was uh, had like the same um, tree architecture as the normal tags. So, and uh, the tricky part is if uh, the parent is normal tag and the ch child is a uh, face tag, that won't be shown in any uh, panels at all because parent not a face tag, it's not a face tag tree uh, branch. Uh, the leaf is face tag, it's not a normal tag. Um, so uh, what do we propose? It uh, all face tag has to be uh, under the people node. 
people is uh, internal face tag. Mm. People top level tag is now hidden because it's uh, no really point in that and uh, I think it's better to re rename it to something like face tag internal something like that. And of course we removed all face uh, removed all face tags from all the list of tags so we need to add some filters we uh, already did that and uh, some more places where they should be like an algorithm of detection and uh, recognition. So uh, about other changes. Um, now you can see that uh, if you set uh, some photo as a thumbnail, uh, the face will be the thumbnail, <laughs> not a full photo. This is really important when on photos there are so many people that you can't understand, you can see actually, um, like before was. Uh, and now an announcement of recognized persons. Um, after running the algorithm of detection and recogni recognition, uh, there wasn't any announcement at all, no pop-ups, uh, nothing. And if you have a like, really large um, collection of photos, it would be a pain to hover your mouse uh, on each face and to find these faces. So uh, now in brackets you can see there are some of recognized but not uh, Digicam not decided. Digicam suggested your name but can't really make a decision. Uh, green borders bet uh, around the unco unconfirmed faces. It's really helpful if you are uh, if you same have a huge collection of faces, uh, one person. Some three improvements uh, at known and unconfirmed um, face tags. Uh, they are like again internal Digicam tags, but um, some, I don't know why, but uh, some users, especially newcomers, uh, was confused with them. Because if you install Digicam, they are already here, there. And uh, I don't know why, but uh, users could just delete them or rename and uh, ruin half of the recognition and detection process. Uh, so now you can't move it, uh, you can't remove it, and uh, you can't rename it. And uh, they will be always on top of the list. Uh, I think there, are, there was any, there was some problems with that because the tree can be really messy. And as I said, uh, top level tag is now hidden because there is no point in showing it. And final small feature is you can drag and drop uh, face tags onto faces is like a normal way because uh, before you. You can do it, but it won't change the face tag. It will be, it will assign a new tag using the face tag. As I said, you can use face tags, you could use face tags and there's a normal tag, so not anymore. So this has uh, some problems uh, with separation, especially because uh, there, is, there isn't, there are some places where face tags are removed from tags but uh, there is no menu from face tags yet. And um, compatibility with other, other, soft, other software so like Picasa. That's really a pain because it's one more way to create that branch when it's not a face tag and face tag. And I can't uh, change database. That's all, thank you. <laughs>